Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to look at area approximation, a topic in mathematics. And I request you to kindly subscribe and to share this link with your friends. We're going to look at area approximation. And the first method to be considered, in this case, is what we call the trapezoidal rule or the trapezium method. The trapezium method. So in this method, area is approximated using a formula which says height or h over 2. Then we open uh, curl brackets <coughs> and smaller brackets where we have h naught or y naught and y n. Then plus 2 multiplied by the other heights or y1 y2 up to y minus n then we close the curl brackets so this is the general formula we use in the calculation of area or the approximation of area using trapezoidal rule in this formula h is the uniform length of the of the trapezia of the trapezia in case you take area under a curve and you break it into several trapezia then you find all the trapezia have a common height or common length and we give it h for now why not is the first height of the first trapezia then we have yn which is the last height of the last trapezia therefore we're going to look at a, an application of this formula in an example whereby we are told in this example to estimate the area bounded by the curve y equals to a half x squared plus 5 the x axis and the line x equals to 1 and x equals to 5 using the trapezium rule. So using the trapezium rule, then we can first of all get values of x just as it has been done here. We take from 0 up to 5 and we substitute in the equation of the curve so that we may know the respective values of y for each given value of x. And we have when x equals to 0, <clears throat> then the value of y is going to be 5. When we use x as 1 and put it in the equation given here, y is going to be 5.5 .5 until the table is completely filled. Now after filling the table, we have a sketch of this curve. So the curve is going to appear this way. This is the curve when x is 0, y is 5. When x is 1, y is 5.5, .5, like that. So we have the we have the area below this curve now, and we have the x-axis. Then we have from x equals to 1 and x equals to 5. So this is now the area below the curve. The area below the curve bounded by this curve x equals to 1, which is this line, and x equals to 5, which is this line. So you can see clearly the area we are dealing with. Now, to get the area of, of this region, then it's good we apply the formula, which has said that area is given by h over 2. So now to calculate the area in this case, you can see that uh, we have... The first height, when x is 1, the first height is a 5.5. .5. And the last height, when x is 5, is 17.5. So in this case, <clears throat> in this case, it means uh, we can now apply the formula by saying h, which is the uniform length of this trapezia, from a trapezia to the other, in case we have divided this 
region into several trapezia. Then we can see from one trapezia to the next, we just have one unit interval. So that uniform interval of one is our h. Then we divide it by two. Then we open the curl brackets and we have smaller brackets where the first wire is 5.5. Because it is from when x equals to 1, then when x equals to 1, what is y? y is 5.5 .5 plus the last value of y, and that should be when x equals to 5. And that will be 17.5. Let me confirm. Yeah, 17.5. Now we add 2, and we open brackets again. We add all the other values of x in between the values of y in between the first value and the last value. And we're going to have 7, have 7 plus the next value is 9.5 and the other one is 13. 9.5 and finally we got 13. So now we can use the calc here to compute the values with the... Uh, 5.5 and 17.5 we get 23 so we have half multiplied by 23 then plus give 7 plus 9.5 plus 13 then these ones are being multiplied by 2 they give us 59 59 so when we compute these you realize we're going to get half multiplied by 82. And this will give us exactly 41 square units. 41 square units. So this is the value of the area below the given curve, which is this one, bounded by the lines y equals or x equals to 5 which is here x equals to 1 and the x axis remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share this link with your friends in the next video i'll be teaching area approximation using the mid ordinate rule thank you for following subscribe and share